Becky. Becky, look there. What's up you guys? Welcome back to our channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Haley. This is Mackie. <laughs> and this is Robin Haley. And this video I'm gonna be sharing all of our Amazon dog must-haves. So I'm gonna be sharing everything that we get for our dog Mackie off of Amazon. Mackie is a Shepherd Husky mix, so um he sheds a lot, he, you know, all the typical dog stuff. He has tough teeth, so I'll be sharing some tough toys and stuff like that. Everything that we get, we use Amazon a ton. So we get like all of our stuff from Amazon. We get a lot of dog stuff from Amazon. So I'm gonna be sharing all of our favorites in this video. But before we get into it, please be sure to leave a thumbs up if you enjoy. And if you think this little guy is cute, he's tired. So he's just all melted on me right now. Um, but don't forget to leave a thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button to join our YouTube family. We share all types of fun content from vlogs, to tons of dog videos with this little guy, so we'd love to have you a part of our family. I will have all of the products that I talk about in this video linked down in the description box below, so you can just go grab them. They're all really good. Again, this is all just my opinion, my recommendations. I am not a professional dog person. I know no professional stuff about dogs. These are just what we've used for our dog and what we've uh, liked for our dog, so. Just keep that in mind, but everything will be linked down in the description box below. Okay, so first up, we're gonna go in like the grooming category because if I pick up his toys right now, he's gonna go crazy. So grooming, first up, we get this shampoo and conditioner. It's puppy shampoo and conditioner. Mackie is currently one year old, just over one year old, and we still use the puppy shampoo and conditioner. Honestly, I think it's fine to use on dogs um, because it's like just a little bit less intense, I think. So this is the one that we use. It is this Earth Bath Natural Pet Care. Um, and so the shampoo is this one, Wild Cherry Scent Puppy Shampoo. Um, and it's like tearless or tearless, I don't know what the right word is, but it's extra gentle. All of the products, all of the ingredients are natural. Um, and so it's like really safe. And then this is the conditioner oatmeal and aloe and we really like this that it's gentler because we bathe him we bathe him at home we do all of our grooming at home and um because we don't cut his hair we just bathe him and so we take this or we give him baths with this after we go to the beach and if we go like in the summertime we're going like every week so i don't want to be washing him with like harsh shampoo and conditioner every week so we will use this about every other week and the off weeks we'll just do water but i really like it because it's like soothing it's helped when he has allergies and stuff to kind of like soothe his skin and it seems to work really well and it smells really good so highly recommend these shampoo and conditioner so obviously after a bath you need to brush your dog so we have two different brush options that we use this firminator brush that he's literally climbing on me right now because he wants me to brush him um but this is really good for dogs that shed a lot um or have like an undercoat because it really like gets a lot of hair off so he's shedding a lot right now we try to brush him daily it doesn't always happen but he loves this one it feels really good clearly you can tell he loves it um he wants me to like keep brushing it's kind of like a little massage and then as you can see all of the hair gets trapped in there and then you just pull it off so we really like this brush and it's not super harsh like some of the ferminators a little bit harsher and are better if you have like a husky or something like that but if you have a dog that has a little bit less thick hair i mean he still has thick hair but this is really good because it gets off all the hair but it's not so harsh and like breaking the hair underneath the other brush we have is this these are like glove brushes so you literally just put it on your hand and then the dog wants to play and you just like pet them like this and get hair off. So clearly he's like chill with this. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but a bunch of hair is like flying off of him right now. Um, and just in doing that, I got quite a bit of hair off. So then it's really easy. You just like pull the hair off of here, 
Um, you can use both hands and you literally just like start petting them, like playing with them and um, you get a bunch of hair off. So these are really good as well. I like to use these outside because sometimes it doesn't all get trapped into this actual thing and it'll fall off. So if you do it outside, you don't have to worry about like the hair going everywhere or you could do it like on your wood floors or something like that. Oh, oh yeah, does it feel good? All right, we'll do more later. Next up for grooming is this toothbrush and toothpaste set. I've run out of the toothpaste, so I don't have it, but this is the toothbrush. And it also comes with this little tiny toothbrush you can put on your finger, but Mackie loves it, clearly, and he loved the toothpaste that came with it. It was peanut butter flavor, but this is really, really good. I liked the little finger thing because as we were getting him used to brushing our teeth, you just put it on your finger and like rub in their mouth so they literally think that you're just like letting them chew on you um, and you can brush their teeth and then now He's used to the toothbrush, as you can tell, and wants to get his teeth brushed because he thinks that there's toothpaste on it. So we use this to brush his teeth. It's a really good angle. It's kind of angled up. We brush his teeth. We, again, try to do this every day, but it doesn't always happen every day. And he's realizing now that there's no toothpaste, so he's probably not gonna let me do this for much longer. But this is a really good toothbrush. Okay, so those were kind of all the grooming things. Next up, I mentioned that um, we like to go to the beach a lot, and this has been a a lifesaver at the beach. This is a refillable, this is a refillable like water thing. So you put water in here, then you put this top on like that and then it like clicks on. And then you can take this little guy, open it and then the water will come into the little bowl. And then if they don't drink it all, you can turn it back and the water will go back or you can just dump it out. Then you close it and then none of the water comes out. This is amazing for taking to the beach, on hikes, on walks, like anywhere where your dog is gonna need water. It has a little clip here. So you can clip it to a bag or it has this. Um, we usually just put it in like the water slot in our backpack. So when we're at the beach, you just open it up, the water will come in here and then he can drink it out of like a bowl instead of trying to drink it out of a smaller like cup or bottle or something. So we really like this. This is like our most used thing from Amazon that we've gotten for our dog and I get questions about this all the time. So this is the best thing. We have gotten a lot of use out of it and it's really good quality and it's it's so good. So again, it'll be linked in the description box below. Okay, next time I'm just gonna link a couple bandanas because we got some really, really cute ones and I thought I'd link them. Um, so the first one was this one that we got for his birthday, birthday boy. And I think they had like a birthday girl one maybe even a couple others, so I'll link this, but just really cute if you want something cute and not too expensive for your dog's birthday. But then I also recently got all of these adorable ones for 4th of July, and we're almost there, and these will still come in time probably if you order them when you see this video. So I'm gonna show you, it was a pack of four, and I can't remember the exact price, but it was very inexpensive for a pack of four, and they're all so cute, and they're really good quality. So here are the patterns. This one's little flag paws. Moon's little red, white, and blue popsicles. And then we have like stars and stripes. And then we have another stars and stripes design. So these are all so cute. Perfect for 4th of July. And this one's perfect for your dog's birthday. Okay, on the theme of like clothing wear for dogs, I guess. Next up is this Kong harness. So I take back what I said about this bottle being the most used, this is our most used. He wears this every single day. This has been his harness since we started walking him. Um, I think we got this when he was like six months old, maybe five months old, once he was fully vaccinated and we could walk him, we got him this. It is a little bit on the more expensive side, but we've had this for a year now and it's still holding up. It's gone in the ocean, it's gone on hikes, it's gone like gotten, mushed up in the sand he's rolled on poop with this harness literally rolled on poop and it's still like in really really good shape it's really durable we've never had any issues it is such a good harness so it clicks like this That wasn't the harness problem, that was just me having problems. So it's on him like this. So it has a handle at the top. So this is really good because if we're at like the dog park or the dog beach and he's, we need to grab him, we can just grab him with this. This is where the leash hooks onto. It like expands. We measured him and ordered a size based on his like 
based on his measurements on their chart. So I highly recommend doing that. Like I said, it is a little bit more expensive, but this is like so worth it. We have literally had this for a year and it's still in amazing shape as you can see. Um, like I said, it's been in the ocean, it's been in dirt and sand and everything and it's still holding up really, really well. Um, it's just very durable. It fits on them well without it being like uncomfortable for them and you can like resize it so it fits your dog perfectly. I really, really like how it has the handle, but the handle's not too big, like it's just there, So you, but you can grab it if you need to grab them for something, and it's just so good. Highly, highly recommend this harness. I can't talk more good things, I can't say more good things about it. It's such a good harness and so, so worth it. So this is the best harness, it's the Kong brand and we got it from Amazon. Next up, of course, if you have a dog and you walk them, you need a poop bag. We have this little poop bag thing. It attaches to our leash just like that, and this is really good. You can pull the poop bags out of it. This is like super easy to refill, um, and I really liked this. Again, it's like good quality. This leash has been everywhere and this thing has held up, so really good one. Um, and attaches to the leash perfectly with the poop bags. Okay, next up is this tug leash. So this one is awesome. This is a retractable leash. And you know, there's a lot of like controversial things out there about retractable leashes. The danger is when your dog is constantly running off and pulling it and then getting jerked back. First of all, we use this with a harness. So because of that, it's not jerking his neck. So that makes me feel a lot better in general. Dude, what are you doing? Come here, come here. I know, am I playing with your toys? Um, so yeah, we use the retractable leash only with his harness, so it's never on his neck. But when he does pull, a couple things. One, we usually don't let him pick up speed enough where if he was pulling and like got jerked back, it would hurt him. Two, we have kind of trained him to not tug and do that, which is really nice. So just use this with caution, but it's this one's really good. Again, this has been in the ocean, on hikes, in the sand, everywhere, and it has held up really well. It still works really well, and you just press this. So if you pull it out, you just press this, and then it's locked, they can't go anymore. I like using this when I'm walking him because it gives him a little bit more freedom to walk ahead of me, especially when he's being good. You know, if he's pulling or tugging and there's other dogs or people around that he's trying to get at, then I won't let him have a bunch of leash, which is why I like this because I can let him have like very little or a bunch, but I like ha having this for him so he can walk ahead, have some freedom on our walks, but if I need to stop him and grab him, I can. I was really nervous about using a tug leash, but this one is really, really good. So yeah, I would just say make sure you know what you're doing um, and practice with it before you take your dog out and you just like let them run free because you don't want it to like jerk them back. But I really like this one. My only complaint is there's nowhere to put a poop bag on here so we have to tie them on here. Um, but that's my only complaint and I feel like that's pretty common with all tug leashes. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the toys. First up, if you have a dog or have ever seen a dog, you've probably seen these, but these are the Kongs. So we have a big one and a small one and this Kong peanut butter. This stuff is the best. You just put it in the Kong and it occupies them. We like to put, especially the smaller one, like put peanut butter in it and then put it into the freezer so it like freezes and it takes him longer to get the peanut butter out. We also have another one that I couldn't find that is a different shape but I'll link that as well down below. So all of, this, all of these will be linked. But this peanut butter is the best because it just squirts right in and it stays good. And he loves these Kongs, clearly. There's nothing in there. There's nothing in there either. Okay, next up for toys, this bone is so good. We call this his peanut butter bone because it's peanut butter flavor. But there's also a bacon one that he loves that again, I don't know where it is right now, but I'll have that link down below too. These are really, really good for especially when you have teething puppies because puppies need to chew on something and these are so good for them to chew on. He loves this one. He'll take it and just chew on it forever. 
Um, it's really good when I'm like trying to work out or something. I'll have him chew on that. I will say I like to supervise him with these because they are plastic. He loves to get little tiny pieces off. Like that's his favorite thing. Sometimes he will just be chewing on it with like his back teeth, but sometimes he will try to be getting it off with his front teeth. So I do always like to give this to him when I'm around and can be like at least listening and watching him every once in a while. Um, so just a word of caution, like with all plastic bones like that, especially for teething puppies, you wanna just watch them, make sure they're not swallowing the plastic. Finally, we have the Go Dog brand of toys. These toys are the only ones I've found that have 100% held up to the resistance of his Shepherd Husky teeth. These things are so good. Um, they have all different animals. So like here, this is I think an alligator. We have a dragon. We have another dragon. And then we have his favorite, his dino. These are so, so good. So when he was a puppy, he went through a few of these because puppy teeth are very, very sharp. So they were able to like penetrate this a little bit. The nice thing is there is no stuffing inside of these. It's just the squeaker, which I'm not gonna squeak right now, but it's just the squeaker and like the outside of the toy. I mean, this one has like, but that's the actual lining. Um, so there's no stuffing for them to like get out. So when he was a puppy, he did make like holes in a couple of them. And then eventually we threw them out just cause they were like getting ripped apart. But since he's grown up and even though his teeth are stronger now, they're not as pointy sharp. So like they're way different than puppy teeth. And he has not gotten through one of these since he has adult teeth. So these are really, really good for tough dogs. We play tug of war with them. He chews on them. He shakes them around. Like he does everything with these guys and he like they have held up really, really well. So this is like, I recommend this toy brand to everybody because it is so good and has held up so well for him. So highly recommend these toys and you can get them all on Amazon. So win-win. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up. If you use any of these things, let me know down in the description box below, or if you're going to try out any of these things for your pup. Also tell me what kind of pup you have because I love dogs. Don't forget to follow us over on Instagram. You can also follow Follow Mackie on Instagram and TikTok. However, I will have everything linked down in the description box below, all the products and all of our social handles. So you can go follow us over there, check out all the products, get some for yourself. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button to join our YouTube family and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Mac, Mac do you want your dinos? <laughs> Mackie, what are you doing? Silly boy.